Welcome to Diddly Squat Gaming. Today we have picked the Dairy Longhorn and I've painted it a nice poop colored brown just for fun. Uh, nobody in the last episode left a comment about uh, color so I went ahead and picked my own color so that's uh, that's how we roll here so <laughs> all right let's grab our trailer because we've got uh, a couple items we need to pick up yeah 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 good old good old side trailer all right uh I don't even know if you sideboard trailer that's what it's called I knew I I knew I left a word out of there sooner somewhere uh, but we have to activate the mission because we are going to be looking at looking beyond the horizon. This is the actual uh, mission or contract that unlocks the quarry. And that is what we're going to be doing today. So let's go ahead and activate that. And we've got uh, we've got to pick up some items at the railway station. We have to go all the way over to the factory. And then we have to go to the warehouse. And then we get to try to figure out how to uh, weasel our way up into the mountains to drop them off at the radar tower. So looks like we're going to have a almost a full trailer with four slots being taken up. So let's go ahead and get started because we've got uh, we've got some driving to do. <clears throat> and that's uh, I think that's the main reason for me picking this truck over the uh, the Azov. This truck is uh, has a much higher speed. So, but if we need, which I'm I'm hoping we don't, uh, we can use the Azov as kind of a a, a rescue truck. So, uh, but we should be we should be good to go in this truck here. Should be more than capable. But let's find out. I know the truck's capable. Is the driver capable? That's probably where <laughs> the fault will lie, right? So let's pick up our... I believe we pick up uh, metal beams here. Oh, nope, I was wrong. Service spare part. Two of them. Alright. Oopsie. I wish it would still allow the uh, the menu to stay up if the trailer is in the uh, the loading area. Okay, service spare parts. Those are yep. Okay, I just want to make sure. I get a little paranoid that um, well, mainly because I've done it before and will do it again. Uh, but I get paranoid that I'm going to end up grabbing the wrong cargo container and then make this journey and have to come back and do it all over again. So. I don't think it's worth it. Um, if you if you look, we are pretty close to the radar tower now. Uh, I don't think it's worth. Uh... Oh, look at that! We don't have to go to the factory now. So the factory just had the service spare parts. So hopefully, the warehouse will have the uh, the cargo container. Wait a minute! Didn't I? Can I pick up the cargo container from? Hold on one second, guys. Uh, I, let's just loop around. I could have sworn it said the cargo container. Ooh, you know what? If, if we have to pick up the cargo t container, that's two spots, so we will be picking up a full load. I suppose I misspoke a little bit. No, actually, what happened is I just read the one, two, one. <laughs> I didn't actually read what the item was. Yeah, but definitely that cargo container is two slots. And I'm 99% sure I saw one when we were loading up the, uh, the service spare part, so. Uh, which is a bummer because now that I'm talking about this, the service, or the uh, metal beams, those are also two cargo slots. So, yeah, we're going to, we're going to have to do two trips. Unless I pull out a train, which we have not done yet. I could train this. Uh, is that what I want to do? Maybe I want to do that. I, li I like kind of, I like changing my mind on the fly like this. It's it's uh, quite relaxing. And if that's the case, that's the cargo container there. Yeah. You know what? 
I want to uh, remove cargo. I'm going to put the cargo container up front, and then we're going to do the spare parts there. Alright, and then... Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll do. We're going to... We're not going to do a train, per se, but we are going to use two trucks. Uh, I will take the as off, put the flatbed on it. Maybe the crane? That might not be a bad idea. Uh, just in case we roll over or smack into a telephone pole. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we'll do that. We'll do that. We'll, we'll change it up a little bit. We'll use two trucks, two different methods. We can throw the metal beams on the flatbed. And yeah, we'll be good to go. So let's let's actually start heading over to uh, the radar tower. Wow, I'm I'm kind of glad. I'm kind of kind of glad I paid attention to that. So okay, yeah, the warehouse is still lighting up. So that's got to be where the metal beams are. Uh, yes, yes. I was just thinking to myself, well, possibly the metal beams could be on a different map, but how could they? We're, we're locked to this one map. <clears throat> Not to mention, I have the other two items, so there would be no way that it would be lighting up. So, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Although, I guess it, it could. It still could. It's really the map being lit up, because... Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna go with that. Am I right? No, no, I am wrong, because I'm carrying the, uh... The item. Holy crap. Like, how how, have, how, do, how do I not remember this? I played this game for how many hours? It's insane. <laughs> but yeah, so because I'm carrying those on the truck, the uh, the icon disappears because I've picked them up. Uh, so yeah, their, their metal beams have to be at that warehouse. <clears throat> so just, yeah, don't get fooled. Uh, if you haven't picked anything up or all the items, then... Technically, that arrow that's saying I could pick up, you know, this item, it could be a different item, and then I would have to go off map to get the other item, but really, that's not the case because, well, I don't have any other item, or I don't have any other map unlocked to be able to do that with, so. Oh, man. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. That's okay. You know what? You, uh, you work through the process of elimination, right? All the, all the different possibilities that you can have go down. You work through them all, and you figure it out. And I, I'm guessing this is the correct way. That's because we're slowing down. Yeah, this should be... This should be easy. No, I'm lying. I think in here it gets a little complicated. And then obviously, up that hill. That shouldn't be too big, too big of a problem. We will probably have to engage our diff lock and throw it in low and just and just burn through the mud. Nope. Not in this truck. This truck doesn't like the high gear. Actually, it's not too bad, but we are just... I think we're too loaded down. I still wish I... You know what? Maybe there is a mod for it. Um, but I still wish that they told us the gross weight. Because that, that's an important part of trucking, right? Like, how heavy is your load? Even though we're not on-road, that, that's obviously they do that for uh, protecting the uh, life of the road, I guess. I mean, that's kind of what makes sense, you know? And it, obviously, it you know, the lighter your load, the faster you can stop, right? So if you're overloaded, it becomes dangerous to... Uh, to pedestrians and uh, and other vehicles on the road, so I don't I don't really know. I kind of made up the whole weight, better you know longer lasting road. If you're a trucker out there, let me know if weight really does you know a lighter load is going to make the road last longer. Um, I, you know I I, I can kind of see my flaw in my saying just because you talk about the amount of vehicles on said road. Um, that's more of a wear than I think weight would be, unless you're talking 
you know, extremely heavyweight. And, um, okay, good. We finally found a tree that we can attach to. I was just about, it, we might rip that tree out of the ground. Holy crap. Uh, but yeah, I was just thinking, I was just about to engage my, uh, differential. Alright, so this bridge doesn't look that bad. Uh, and apparently, for some reason, we are at night, so let's skip to morning. Not really much better, but it is a little better. And we'll just go straight across that bridge. No issues there. This bridge, though... Oh, is it going to be easier to go... I think we're safe on this bridge. I really do. We've done it before. We are a little top heavy though, so... Oh! Okay, so we took the bridge, the trailer did not. And I have a feeling we are hung up on the bridge itself. Pull it straight. Yep, there we go. Alright, let me zoom out a little bit there. Getting a little close there. Alright, so that looks like it says Meteor... Meteor... Yeah. I can't read Russian. <laughs> I, don't, I have no clue what that says. But I'm guessing it says uh, Radio Tower, if I were to translate it. Radio or Radar, because... Well, that's what it translates to. So let's go ahead and throw the differential on. Ooh. Nothing. Yeah, so I, uh... I was watching a YouTube... I think it might have been a short, and somebody had talked about... If you use tires that have less grip... Like, in this situation, if my tires had less grip, then they would be spinning. Which would allow you to get up the hill. Now, I don't know if that's true. Uh, in some ways, it does make sense because right now I am, you know, I've got all my wheels just solid, right? Um, luckily, going to, to, to low minus took care of that issue. But yeah, I just, I don't know if that's true or not. I, it kind of makes sense if you don't have grippy tires then they're going to be slipping. But at the same time, I'm like, they're, it's mud. I don't know. It's, uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think, if that's something that's true. Am I just, yeah, I'm literally just pulling that anchor point, point towards me. <laughs> I have no clue what, no clue what I attack, atta attached to. Wow. All right, let's try to get this tree over here because obviously that big pine Really? There we go. Now we're attached to it. No, 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 no. Okay. That was close. That was close. Uh... Do I dare try to go back? That should... Yeah. Um, let's go... Let's get out of the mud. No, stop attaching to that stupid tree that should have disappeared. Seriously? Oh, come on. Where's my marker? Alright, I'm having issues today, today guys. Give her some gas. Get out of these ruts. Am I? I feel like I'm hung up on something. Ooh. Alright, we are going into... Oops. Sorry about that. 
Let's go into first person. There we go. We're just gonna slowly go up this hill tree by tree. <laughs> wow, something... I feel like the gamma... got horribly, uh... screwed up when I switched time. Uh... None of... Maybe that tree? I guess it probably really helps if I turn off my parking brake. Alright, come on. Come on, truck, you can do it. Nope. I don't know why it wants... keeps wanting to attach to these weeds. There we go, we gotta make sure, there we go. Alright, so this might be a little tougher than I thought getting up here. Alright, let's manually attach again. Ah, there we go. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, we almost tipped over again. Alright, we're gonna stick to pulling on these trees. Uh, that should be the tree there. Did I... I don't know what my issue is, but I keep releasing my winch. There we go. Come on. Come on. You can do it, truck. You can do it. Nice and slow. Okay, now the million dollar question is, is I think I gotta go to the right here. In order to do that, yeah, we gotta do this. <laughs> All right, I think we're good now. We're close. We're so close. All right, so getting up that hill was uh, a lot tougher than I thought it was going to be. Going to low minus, keep the differential locked up. <clears throat> I haven't actually been up here yet, so I don't know. If we're in the clear now, or if we are going to be in for more, uh, in for more work. Kind of tight up here, but I think we're good. Oh, well. Maybe if I didn't hit the, uh, the building there. Alright, so hopefully they're planning on, uh, making this radio tower work. Because <laughs> it needs some work. Oh, my, my marker was way off for some reason. Alright, let's drop off our two spare parts and our cargo container. We are good to go. Let's, uh... Yeah. Let's try to get this out of here. Ooh. <laughs> we are, uh, in some mud. Seriously? There we go. All right, let's turn this around and we are going to actually jump back to the garage. And when we get done with this mission, we'll bring back, uh, we'll bring back both trucks, but let's jump into the garage. All right, so let's go into customize and switch to the uh, flatbed. I'm not. I repeat, uh, you know what, let's change the color too while we're at it, but I'm not going to put the crane on. Just because, yeah, you know what, let's go with our brown theme. We're going to rock this one. Uh, but yeah, I don't want to throw the, uh, the crane on because of the, uh, the weight that it adds to the truck. So let's go all the way to the factory. It's just going to feel like a million miles away. 
especially in this truck, <laughs> since it doesn't have a great top speed. Oh, whoa. <laughs> and I totally forgot about its turning radius not being as good. <laughs> oh, I almost, uh, I almost screwed it up right off the bat. Ooh, get to play a little bit in the water. I'm splashing in the water. All right. This uh, this trip we've seen a thousand times, so I think I might skip it. So yeah, I might uh, I might do some more editing to the videos where I cut things like this out. Uh, just just because they, you know, <laughs> they're they're not overly important to the the gameplay. So, anyways, let's uh, let's jump to the factory. All right, so we're just getting to the factory now. Let's throw on our metal beams. Boom! One load of metal beams, which is perfect. Takes up two slots. Um, I'm. Kind of glad I realized that before I had uh, driven all the way here with the uh, the dairy. <laughs> I would not have been a happy camper. I can tell you that much right now. I would not have been happy. All right, so <clears throat> uh, we didn't miss too much the uh, through the jump cut. I think I found one little shortcut, but uh, wasn't really actually. Uh, really wasn't that important. It was it was actually right through here. It's right before you get to this what I call the bus stop <laughs> and uh, Yeah, now that I'm looking at it. We could probably we go left We could uh, Probably go the shorter route, so let's go ahead and do that And we uh, we got to get up somewhere up there. I think it's right there in the middle, but <laughs> kind of weird because it's not on the highest point of the mountain but yet it's it's actually almost in a valley I think uh no I guess it's not in the valley it is it is that hill over there somewhere I, in fact I think you can just make it out on top of that hill which is quite surprising when you think about you know how we get there and whatnot it doesn't feel like it's that it doesn't feel like it's that high up a vertical climb but I guess it kind of is uh, so let's make sure I actually want to go I'm gonna cut through here and honestly I probably didn't save any time because I backed up <laughs> and then having to cut through but we got to get on this road here and then this should get us closer to our goal. And to be fair, that top of that radio tower is a lot higher up than how far we actually have to vertically climb. So, but it still, still doesn't feel like we climb that much. But I guess we do. Uh, could we scoot up that route? Ooh, I think we can and I think we will. Let's uh let's see what this Azov can do. Oh, 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 we we stalled a little bit there. <laughs> nope, don't. I'm just gonna go in the low right now because it's gonna wanna shift. And uh maybe high works? Yeah, high works. I don't know how high works, but it does, so let's use it. And please don't put in the comments how high works. I know how high gear works, it's just... I don't know how it works when you have this type of engine. But, because clearly it's a small engine, lower horsepower engine. Unless they have some black magic working the, uh, the fuel economy. Because uh, we are still only burning two gallons a minute. 
going uphill. Even if we're in high gear, we're still at two gallons a minute, which is insane. It's unheard of. This thing drives like it's a thousand horsepower engine, but it gets a fuel economy of a hundred power or a hundred horsepower engine. It's crazy. All right. Um, can we sneak? Where are we going? Uh, you know what? I'm going to follow the road. Oh, wait. No, we're not. No, we're not. Look at that washout. Um, okay. I got to think about this one. I think we'll be okay if we just we stay to the left here. Come on, don't go up the hill. Don't go up the hill too much. Alright. I'm glad I saw that last second. Glad I saw that. We almost ate it. Um, Alright, so we should be good after this point here. <coughs> Hopefully that is. Um, we should be there. Oops. Not an issue. I feel like I could cut up. There's so many spots that look like I can just easily cut up. But we'll just we'll stick to the road. Even though that's not always the best path. But remember that when you guys play, if you guys are playing. Oh, yeah. Speaking of playing, I totally forgot. This is free on Epic until May 30th. You can just oh wait, no. Scratch that. Sorry. Wrong game. Never mind. <laughs> it's the other game I play, Farming Simulator. That is now free on Epic until the 30th. So uh, if you guys want to try playing that game as well, go ahead and give it a download because it's 100% uh, free. And I'm not going to lie, you don't need any of the, uh, the add-ons or the expansions. I mean, you do get two maps, but there's so many. There's so much. Actually, I think there might be three maps you get now. Um, but there are so many mods created by the community that um, it's just, it's kind of pointless. You know, there's thousands of maps that you can try playing on, whether you want English uh, style farms or American style farms or, you know, whatever. Uh, the the uh, vehicles, there's millions of them on mod hub or it's actually built into the game so it's pretty cool uh but there are millions of, of mods all for free so i i say you don't need it but uh yeah it's free so go check it out uh that's farm simulator 2022 by the way anyways let's uh drop this off because uh oops because we are now done look at that we got a whopping six thousand bucks off of that, so not not too bad. And we can uh, we can now leave this map and go to the uh, quarry. And we are stuck. Oh, <laughs> uh, let's back up. We don't need to go this way, anyways. So let's go back this thing up. And we are going to try and carry both these vehicles home in a train. We're just going to rip everything through the trees. Catch winch. All right, let's see if we can drop all this stuff off before. And uh, yeah, the scary thing is, is I think I'm going to take the uh, scout uh, over to the new map because I don't know what to expect. I don't believe there's a garage. In fact, we can actually look. Uh, global map. Or a, oh, it won't even tell me, so I don't even know yet. We have to actually, you know what? Yeah, we left this here and we left it here on purpose. So uh, let's just check real quick. 
let's go into the quarry for the first time and it looks like a quarry so uh yeah this is gonna bring back memories of michigan bad 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 memories we won't uh we won't skip the cutscene just so you guys can check it out and uh yeah look at what we're at it is a oh oh it's a deep map it's uh tall and narrow and it I, if i had to guess we're in a port and this is up the middle is all water if i had a guess that's what it was but you know what let's um let's actually head back i know this is weird but let's head back to the drown lands and uh let's get these vehicles taken back before we before we begin we gotta we gotta clean up uh let's attach the winch apparently our trucks roll down the hill a little bit uh nope And uh, yeah, we're going to turn that engine on. We're probably going to need all the help we can get. Luckily, we're going downhill, so as long as we don't get a runaway, we should be okay. And uh, yeah, let's not use the bridge. We won't even bother. It appears to be a little bit uh, safer. <laughs> Pretty sure it was faster too. And uh, what about this one? Can we skip this one too? Yeah, who, who needs a bridge? I I probably should be just a little bit farther <laughs> away. But uh, as you can see there, it actually the dairy jumped on the back of the flatbed and didn't even touch his front wheels in that ditch, so it almost it almost works for the better. <laughs> the dairy didn't have to bury its front end and try to come out get out of it. So, anyways, uh, let's uh, we are we are super close though. I think I'm going the right way. I honestly don't know. I have no clue where I'm going. We're just gonna go for it. And hope. Uh, where are we? Yep, we're going. Yeah, I, I, I knew we were going the right way. I was just kidding with you guys. No, honestly, I, I had no clue. I was guessing. <laughs> Literally was guessing. But at least I guess right, so that's, that's a positive thing, right? You always you always want to look at the positive things in life, right? Alright, so... <clears throat> Alright, so now we're back to the main road. We shouldn't have... We shouldn't have any issues now. Both trucks have plenty of fuel in them. We are, uh, yeah, we are more, more than good to go. And yes, I realize, I know, I could just return the as off and drive the, drive the dairy back with the uh, trailer, but I don't know. I feel like this is a little bit more realistic. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just glad I'm not doing a realistic series where everything is scrutinized to the T with uh, doing it like you would in real life. I don't know if I would... I, I, I doubt I would be past Michigan right now. I'd still be on the first map of Michigan trying to do everything perfect. <laughs> anyway. Alright, so we are almost, almost back. So yeah, I think once we uh, once we get uh, these trucks returned, 
and obviously sell, sell the trailer back. We're going to jump in the yard. We are going to try to hit all the watchtowers. And then we will hopefully look for some upgrades. Maybe we'll find some upgrades on the way. Uh, I'm not too worried about finding every single one right now, but I do want to. Uh, I do want to get to at least all the up watchtowers and unlock those, and then we can start tackling the task and figure out a if we need the garage there. Uh, because yeah, honestly, this garage is uh, this garage is pretty far away. So if we're going to, we're going to need to be smart and probably bring, say, the Azov with the crane and the flatbed. Or I could just bring a semi-trailer. Um, but yeah, we're gonna we're gonna just need to bring everything with us. Maybe not necessarily trailers. We'll have to find out if there are trailer stores. I'm sure there are trailer stores in that on that map, but uh, if there's no garages. Then we're gonna have a lot of uh, a lot of driving to do. <laughs> so, uh, especially if we don't bring the right stuff. But let's go ahead and throw that in there. And uh, this is where I leave you guys with this episode. I Hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you're not. And uh, yeah, I hope you look forward to the next video because I do. And uh, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.